once again guys i believe you are doing hardly well as we speak protest is about erupting nationwide and p2b a man who has always stood the test of time a man who has always stood to tell the masses what is needed and the government also has now stated outrightly as a matter of fact you need to see the p2b's message to bola metinibu it was a strong one and it is deserved and it is outrightly what he should get at this point in time guys as we speak there is serious uh, northerners have started seeing that ethnicity religion tribe nepotism and other vices are not a yardstick to vote and to be voted for look at what is happening nationwide look at the starvations look at the high rate of you know prices of petrol as we speak in some places as you could see on your screen this is a petrol price price that was around you know, 100 and something naira per litre when Bola Metinimbu assumed office. Now, on that very day of his inauguration, he stated outrightly that subsidy has been removed. As if that is not enough, he went to Saudi Arabia for an economic forum and stated that he had to remove fuel subsidy because he does not want Nigeria to go bankrupt. And all this has now in, in, initiated and instigated the fact why P2B had to send this very message to Bola Metinimbu. I believe you ought to stay put and watch and see exactly what P2B has just stated. Because if care is not taken, this could lead to a nationwide protest because the masses cannot be paid 30,000 minimum wage, civil servant paid 30,000 minimum wage, and their income as is less while their expenditure is high. This has led to what has now erupted. And if the government is not looking towards good measures towards this, this could lead to something else. And instead of the government that is supposed to provide social amenities, as we have always stated it, to do what is right, power minister has just failed the masses. It is very much obvious that the National Assembly, being the Senate, called the power minister to come and explain and expantiate and even detail on what is really happening towards the failure of uh, you know, sufficient power supply in the country. Lo and behold, guys, when he was in the National Assembly, the light tripped off on his very before. That is to tell you that even the power minister cannot even guarantee 24 hours power. And this has now brought mockery to all his policies down to the fact that he had to state that if nigeria does not and the citizen does not hacking to the you know the high rate of tariff that he has just increased that nigeria will go blackout you can now see as if that is not enough that is the level of what could lead to this nationwide protest as if that is not enough the newly renovated national assembly has now faced another dimension senators that are supposed to make law and also see how they could caution the high rate of increase of commodities to the, the common man that are representing their representatives in the national assembly are busy dragging and you know looking for seat positions when the country and the masses are faced with a whole lot of differences Watch this video and see exactly what has just transpired in the National Assembly. How the senators are busy. They left all they could do in the National Assembly. They are busy grabbing and looking for a best position to sit instead of coming to that place to do what is right. Now, watch when we come back, we we'll exactly unveil what P2B has sent as a strong message to Bola Metinimbu towards what is happening in this particular country. <laughs>
I believe you have seen exactly what has just transpired. How the senators that are supposed to make law and see that the laws are carried out and also bring dividends of democracy to their constituents now had failed. All their interest is to look for a good position to sit. Probably where the AC and comfort will meet them when the masses are faced with humiliation, when the masses are buying petrol at the price of 2,000 naira per liter. All these are happening under this government of the All Progressive Congress. The government has stated that they are for change and they have brought change to the masses. Now, P2B had to take it upon himself because he has always stated that he is standing as an intermediary between the government and the masses. Notwithstanding that he will always be castigated based on the fact that he is doing what is right. Now, P2B has this message to send to Bola Metinibu. Recall that there are a lot of uh, uncompleted rules, as you could see on your screen. These are uncompleted rules within this country and instead of this government to come and rehabilitate this road make it a workable place we help to increase the internet generated revenue and bring dividends of democracy to the people they fail to do it all they want to do is lagos coastal highway and p2b had this message to send say lagos calabar highway is job losing project stop it now this is a strong message p2b had to send to bola metinibu recall that this road definitely may take more years even before Bola Metinimbu leaves office. So why are you go embarking on new roads when the other federal roads are debilitated? When the other roads are nothing to write home about? Now P2B is saying, stop this Lagos. It is a losing project. Stop it now. This is a standing message that P2B has sent to Bola Metinimbu. Because if these things are not cautioned, if these set of persons in government are not accountable, then there could be a nationwide protest and no one is praying for such to happen that is if government does not do what is right look at virtually everything what is happening and as if that is not enough only for you know the apc national chairman being ganduji who has always brainwashed the bola metinimbu is now even embracing bola metinimbu and telling him that tinimbu will remain in office beyond 2027 you can now see is he will he remain in office beyond 2027 with what is happening with a a, a, a liter of fuel at 2000 naira we are three, the masses cannot even feed three square meal a day. All this has now erupted while a lot of persons are now stating that if these things are not cautioned, this could lead to a nationwide protest. And when it gets to that point, then the masses will begin to revolt. React on the comment section. What is your take? Even on what is happening, what is your take on what's P2B's message to Bola Metinibu? Is it appropriate at this certain time that things ought to be right because this government is accountable? Because they stated that they are going to make change. Notwithstanding that they have not done the change, the place of P2B and other masses will continue to bring them to book and make sure they do what is right. Don't forget to always hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and click on the like button so that you get notified when we drop more trending videos.